There are two ways that you can move holdings around. First, you can transfer a call number, moving it from one MARC record to a different MARC record. And second, you can transfer an item. You can move an item from one call number attached to a MARC record to a different call number attached to the same MARC record. Or you can move an item to a specific call number attached to a completely different MARC record. First, we will discuss how to transfer a call number. If we consider the catalog record shown here, the MARC record is for a large print book. But one of the attached call numbers seems to be for a regular print edition. Maybe the cataloger wasn't paying attention when they added this item, or maybe there was a bad merge somewhere in the past. In any case, the way to solve the problem is to transfer this call number to a different MARC record. In order to do that, First, we need to open up a new browser tab and load the Evergreen web client in that new tab. If you have Chrome or a similar browser, one quick way to do that is to right-click on the Home icon at the upper left of the screen. And from the options that pop up, you can pick Open the Link in New Tab. Now we need to find a new MARC record, something that will be a better home for our wayward call number. If we did that in this case, we eventually would find a record like this. To set this MARC record as the new destination, click on the MARC4 dropdown. From the options that appear, select Holding Transfer. And once we do that, a confirmation message will appear at the lower right of the screen. Next, we need to go back to the first browser tab. Once there, click on the Holdings View tab. Then click the checkbox on the top line here, the line that has just the call number of what we want to move. Then click on the Actions drop-down. A menu will appear. Scroll down to the bottom, and under the subheading of Transfer, select Transfer Holdings to Marked Destination. As soon as we do that, we can see that only the large print call number remains. And in the other browser tab, the regular print call number is finally where it should be. To transfer an item from one call number in a MARC record to another call number in that same MARC record, start by bringing up the MARC record in the catalog and going to the Holdings View tab. In the example that we're looking at right now, this is a four-volume graphic novel series. But somehow the barcode of Volume 4 has wound up under the call number of Volume 3. We need to move it back to where it belongs. So the first thing to do is to designate where the prodigal item record should go to. Click the checkbox in front of the row that has the destination. Then click the Actions drop-down box. A menu will appear, and if we look down at the bottom, under the subheading Mark, select Library slash Call Number as Transfer Destination. Next, click the checkbox at the start of the row with the barcode that needs to be moved. Then click the Actions icon. A menu will appear, and you may have to scroll down quite a bit, but down at the bottom, under the subheading of Transfer, click on 
Transfer items to marked destination. And with that, the barcode for Volume 4 is now finally back home. You also may run into situations where you need to transfer only one item attached to a mark record, moving it to a new, different mark record. In the example that we see on the screen now, one of these barcodes actually belongs to another music CD, which we can see open in another tab. This still has music by Beethoven, but this one is piano sonatas. We can't just transfer the call number between mark records because that would also move over the barcode which does belong to the other children's music CD. However, we can move just the one item barcode. The first thing to do is to go to the Holdings View tab. Since our library doesn't yet have any attached holdings to this mark record, we first need to create an empty call number, and then designate said empty call number as the holdings transfer target. To do this, click the icon here, and from the menu that appears, under the heading of Add, click on Add Call Numbers. Then click in the space under Call Number Label and type in the appropriate call number text. Finally, click the button that says Apply All, Save, and Exit. Now that the empty call number has been created, click the checkbox at the start of the row. Then click the Actions icon and scroll down a bit. And once we get there, under the subheading of Mark, select Mark Library slash Call Number as Volume Destination. Now we switch back to the tab with the item record that needs to be moved, and we go to the Holdings View tab. Click the checkbox at the start of the row for the barcode that you want to move. Double check to make absolutely sure that you have the right one. Then right click somewhere in that row. Uh, scroll down with the menu that appears. And under the subheading of transfer, select transfer items to marked destination. A notification will show at the lower right corner that the item has been successfully transferred. And if we switch to the other browser tab and refresh the screen, we can see that the item barcode is now back where it belongs.